Big Bear Country Kite Contest. Make your own, fly your own kite, and win fabulous prizes. That's for us! But we're going to have to hurry. The contest is this afternoon. Come on! We're going to make us a kite. And do some plain and fancy kite flying. And win fabulous prizes. In the Big Bear Country Kite Contest. Do you think we will? Will what? Win valuable prizes? Absolutely. Pay the rent, me proud beauty. Pay the rent. Oh, but sir, I can't pay the rent. I can't. Will you stop that clowning, sister? We've got work to do if we're going to win first prize in the big kite contest. <laughs> kite contest? Someone say kite contest? A first prize? Okay, start cutting. What do you think the prize is going to be? Don't waste your time worrying about that, sweetie, because there's no way you're going to win anything with that dinky little kite. Why not? Because to win a prize, you have to have a prize-winning kite. You need the biggest and best kite in all bear country. A cloud-dustin', sky-bustin', aerodynamically advanced, state-of-the-art high flyer that can do anything a bird can do except take a bath in a saucer. Gee, Papa, where are we going to get one of those? As if we didn't know. From the world's greatest kite expert, of course, me, yours truly, Papa Q-Bear. This is the perfect material for a kite tail. Papa, what are you going to use for kite string? My super stretch, super strong steelhead catfish line, of course. Now stand back for the test flight. Of course I'm all right. Why wouldn't I be all right? I just decided we'd have to launch this kite from up high. That's all. Now, hand that kite up here. Come on, briskly now. We haven't got all day. Do you think this thing will fly? It must weigh a ton. The space shuttle weighs four and a half million pounds, and it cruises with the greatest of ease. You just don't understand aerodynamics. But, Papa, please. We just want to fly a kite. This time, she's going to take off like a bird. You'll see. It was just a matter of getting some height on it, getting her up into the breeze. I tell you, she's going to soar like a bird. Here we go. Like a bird, huh? Yeah, a dead bird. Papa, this kite is never going to fly. Sheer defeatist poppycock. Why, I've flown kites since I was knee-high to a ladybug. Cub and bear, I've flown everything that flies. Flew the mail with Grizzly Doolittle. Have a perfumed scarf from Amelia Bearheart. You know, if we just had enough power to get her up into those thermals... Hmm. I've got it. I've got the answer. Mama! Mama, bring round the family car. We're gonna go fly a kite and win us a fabulous prize. Oh, dear. Please, Mama, it's the kite contest. And it's this afternoon, Mama. Please. <sighs>
Okay, start the engine. Okay, let her rip. Hey, oh, hey, Chapu, stop! Help! Look, Papa forgot to let go. He forgot to let go. Oh, dear. Poor Papa. Help! Help! Stop the car! Stop the car! Now that is the strangest looking bird I ever saw. No! Don't stop the car! Don't stop the car! Didn't think he was going to make it. Wings too short, and he's much too thick in the fuselage. Go, Mama! Go! That's it! Go! Yeah! I think he's got it! Make way! Make way! Let's get out of here! He's going too high! Too high! Now everybody calm down. Here's what we're going to do. If we stop, he'll crash. If we speed up, he'll climb. What we have to do is slow down gradually while you reel him in. That way we can bring him down for a safe landing. I hope. That ought to do it, Mama. Good thinking. Wow! Look at him fly! Yeah! You know, he flew the mail with Grizzly Doolittle, and he has a perfume scarf personally given to him by Amelia Bearheart. Uh huh. Hook yourself. Don't you know that pedestrians always have the right of way? How's he doing? He's coming down. Oh, that's good. Oh, no. Look out. Tall trees ahead. Speed up, Mama. Speed up. We've got to climb Papa over those trees. That was a close call. My dear, life with your Papa is a continuous close call. We've got to get him down soon, or we'll miss the kite contest. Sister's right. There's not much time. I understand, sweetie, and I think we're through the worst. Oh, no! Bridge ahead! What do we do? If we stop, he'll crash. If we don't, he'll bash into the bridge. Our only hope is to try to maneuver him under the bridge. We'll never make it. Somebody do something! This is Traffic Copter 5, high above Bear Country, bringing you the traffic report. Except for a probable accident involving, you guessed it, Papa Q Bear, traffic conditions are normal. What's this? An unscheduled bridge opening, folks. Unlucky for westbound traffic, which is backed up to the Colonel Grizzly Interchange. But I would venture to say very lucky for Papa Q Bear. All right. Are there any more hazards ahead? I'm going to try the slow down maneuver again. No, I don't see any hazards. But look! It's the kite contest, and we're missing it. The kite contest, and we're going right past it. Our big chance lasts forever. Keep reeling, and look up ahead. Another contest. A hang glider contest. Personally, ever seen. Whoa! Are you all right, Papa? All right. I'm better than all right. Congratulations and felicitations, sir, on your magnificent performance. Think nothing of it. After all, I practically invented hang gliding. Yeah, about five minutes ago.